All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting video because we're picking up our custom painted fours of magnesium wheels from our painter Alex, and then we're heading back down to Ducati Santa Barbara to install them onto our 2021 Panigale V2 giveaway bike. I cannot wait for you guys to see how these wheels turned out. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Oh, I need the box that gave you. that folks so oh Ducati. I love the little Campisi customs yeah, on there yeah Ducati red with the Marchesini and the cool thing about these is he, he had stencils made of these so it's painted on they're not stickers so Marchesini forged magnesium wheels Campisi customs on both sides look at that and the back wheel what color is it gonna be guys <laughs> what color is it gonna be boom Look at that, folks. Oh, yeah, the way it shines in the that sun. That incredible. White. That is incredible. And then with, with the red, red accents. Look at that. Dude, that's perfect. Yeah, he sent me some photos, and in the photos, it looked like almost like a cream because of the lighting in his house. <laughs> I was freaking out a little bit. So we put the, uh, the stencils on both sides. So there you go, guys. I've never seen a painted set of magnesium wheels ever. And he said it was a nightmare to paint these because of all the, well, mainly the front wheel, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, because of all the areas that you have to get into to make it look good. So massive shout out to this guy. If you guys need any work done, uh, paint work, cars, motorcycles, you're in Southern California, Oxnard, Ventura, Santa Barbara. Uh, I'll put Alex's information in the description below. It's just his email. He doesn't have any social media. He's just painter a badass painter. that's all he does so thank you so much man no i appreciate it oh thank we you. still have a spring too we'll it's right there in the yellow yeah, yeah. the rear shock looks like a little pig in a blanket <laughs> oh, that's beautiful yeah so we went with red for that it's gonna look really good we're gonna get a carbon piece to cover this too so it's gonna look phenomenal so that's all the painted pieces again thank you to alex if you guys need any work done check out uh his email in the description below all right, we have arrived at Ducati Santa Barbara, got the bike out, and I'm actually a little bit nervous because I just hope that the colors all match. So uh, the boys have not seen any of this yet. So there's the spring. We'll start with the least exciting and move to the best exciting. Actually, hold that up, teens, over here. Let's see. That red's very good. Just right here. It's going to be on the other well, side. Well, I guess it'll be on the other side. Yeah, look how much better that's going to be than the freaking yellow way better yeah that looks dope dude that okay perfect. yeah that matches perfectly okay <laughs> <laughs> install you installing it, it is that what you're doing right there <laughs> all right perfect. front wheel teens is rocking a new fit jeans for girls who work out fit jeans i tried to buy a pair didn't fit me at all that is look sick, at that <laughs> so i had them add marcasini forged magnesium and the campisi customs these are actually on stenciled on yeah, yeah so they're painted on wow how sick is that I can't wait to see how much weight these save. I'm hoping for 10 pounds. I'm gonna weigh them again? Yeah. Well, we're gonna, yeah, we'll, we'll take the old wheels off, weigh the stock rims, then we'll weigh these, nice. you know, and see what they weigh. I like it. What do you think? I think it looks sick, dude. It's pretty badass, right? It does a good job. Yeah. He said they were a bitch to paint. Like, right. to get inside of all these crevices right. and stuff. He had to tape off. Yeah, he said it was a nightmare. Like... All right, and then I would say this is the bell of the ball right here. The sick. white one. Yeah. Okay, now I didn't think I was gonna like the white as much. As I man, think the white looks think the better. White is even better dude. Look how cool that is. Wow. That is gnarly. Isn't that so badass? What do you guys think? Yeah, Have you ever seen custom mag wheels before? Painted? Not custom like hand not painted? Like this. Yeah. No, for sure. Not I at mean, all. that's on a, on a V2. No. <laughs> these are like no. over $5,000 now. This is, yeah. Everything I spent on these. <laughs> this is a definite first. Isn't that crazy? Teens, hold that up to the bike once. Let's see. Does it match the satin white? This is what I was very nervous for. It does. It matches perfectly. That's sick. Dude, look at how sick that looks. <laughs> it kind of makes me wish I did white on both, to know, be honest. Yeah. yeah, it looks. But it'll be cool to be completely different. Hold it, hold it, hold it up here. Let's see. Look at that, guys. Dude, that looks so gnarly. I'm going to be different. It's not a cookie cutter bike. Right. The whole point that's the whole point bikes, because people everywhere. steal my bike content and post it all over the internet and I want to make sure when people see these bikes they know that 
they were built by me, you know? Well, by us, everybody involved with the team. So, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, let's strip these wheels off. We also have a new back tire. So since these rims are six inch uh, rims, we're gonna put a 190 back tire on. So you're gonna get a brand new 190 rear tire on the bike as well. So I guess the next thing we'll do is start tearing this thing apart and then we'll be able to weigh these and find out how much weight we're saving. I think we're already over 34 pounds of weight savings. So if we can <laughs> put another 10 pounds on there, it could be one of the lightest Panigale V2s in the world, I think, when we're done. So yeah. let's find out. So actually one other thing we forgot to show are the valve stems. So Alex even painted these as well. So red and white. The red will go on the white wheel and then the white on the red wheel. How fucking cool is that? I'm actually really stoked with how this turned out. All right, so while I was searching for the uh, Duca bike wheel nuts, they're gonna be in black. It's so ridiculous, the detail on this. Uh, Corey already pulled the wheel off and he's gonna pull a tire off so that we can weigh this and I'm actually gonna be sending these, these stock wheels back to Manny. So we're gonna find out how much weight we save on the rear wheel very shortly. I want, to, I want Victor to hold these real quick. He's the owner, you guys have seen him in other videos. <laughs> Isn't that gnarly, dude? Watch this. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Dude, I think they're gonna save a lot of weight. Amazing. Yeah, I'm hoping for 10 pounds, but we'll see. All right, boys, it's time to find out the weight savings. Stock V2 Panigale wheel. Going on the scale, throw it on there. Let's make it as heavy as possible, teen. <laughs> Should I put all my weight on it? No, don't do that. <laughs> um, there it is. So it's pretty much exactly 11 pounds. So 11 pounds on that one. Teens, go ahead and pick up that mag wheel, custom painted. Let's see how much that one weighs. Moment of truth, oh, folks. Moment of truth, yeah. And this is rotating mass, which makes a huge difference. Nice and light, nice and light. Oh my gosh, seven pounds. Seven pounds for that wheel. So, so that's four pounds. four pounds of weight savings with one wheel alone. That's amazing. All right, so here's the scary part, guys. <laughs> this is all on Corey. No pressure, no pressure, Corey. He's gonna put the valve stems on, the new ones. Uh, we're gonna do opposite colors, just like the uh, labels. So it'll be red for the white and white for the red. Look at that, it's so ridiculous, the details. We've got a black Duca bike nut for this. Oh, it's gonna look so good, guys. So we were all just giving Corey a hard time because he was torquing down the valve stem, but that's how serious Corey is. He does not screw around. Look at him, perfectly angled at 90 degrees and torqued down, ready for a wheel. Hey, good for you, buddy. <laughs> all right, so we lubed up the tire. Now he's gonna put it on the whim, uh, or on the wheel. I'm not even gonna film this because I feel like I'll drink it, so I'm just gonna let him do his thing. We'll come back when it's done. All right, the wheel is on safely. Corey crushed it, adding. There it is. Adding the air. Look at that, guys. It looks so good. I'm stoked, man. And right, then what are you setting the uh, tire pressure at, Corey? 36.2. 36.2. Super accurate <laughs> pressure tester. <laughs> I love it. And then the final step before putting this bad boy on is balancing it. And I think we're gonna use black, because I don't think you have white, right? You have silver yeah. or black? Yeah. Probably black, yeah. Those, yeah. Will, those will blend in, they'll be behind in the back so nobody will notice them. Unless I, of course, you watch this video. <laughs> so we actually found some white wheel weights. So we're gonna use those instead. It actually matches perfectly, so that's really nice. Because right now, we got them balanced, but they were black. And we were like, ah, it's kind of a bummer. And then we found some white ones. Boom. All right, folks, seeing the bike with the new wheel for the first time. <laughs> oh my gosh. So actually, this is a little sneak peek of how it's gonna look. It's gonna be white, one white and one red. Look at that, guys. How freaking sick is that? I just think it's so cool, dude. Okay, let him keep working. All right, Teens is out of here. She's gotta go film OnlyFans videos. Check. I'll put her OnlyFans link in the description below if you guys want to see it. Bye. We just flipped the bike around and um, God, it looks so good it rolling good. around, guys. So we get, yeah, you got the Duca bike black wheel nut on there. Look at that. It matches perfectly with the black uh, clear clutch cover. I, I, I'm, I can't get over that white wheel. I don't know what it is. It's just like freaking gorgeous. So, all right, he's gonna pull off the front wheel now and we're gonna find out what the weight savings is on that bad boy. So the other thing guys, um, we did put a 190 tire on this, as I mentioned earlier. They come with 180s, um, but since this is a six inch uh, rim, uh, it's better to put a 190 on it or else it's gonna stretch out the 180 and make it look weird. And 
clearance is good. So we got pl plenty of clearance here, plenty of clearance here, and we've got clearance by the chain as well. So if you did want to go up to a 190 on your V2, um, I wouldn't on the stock wheels. There's really no need. But if you get a new set of rims and they're sixes, uh, you can put a 190 on it and it will be fine. All right, pulling calipers off the front wheel. There you go. We might end up replacing these in the future. I'm gonna see. That's the only complaint I have with the bike. I feel like the brakes are maybe just a tiny bit underpowered for what this bike can do. Um, we're gonna actually replace the master cylinders first with RCS uh, Corsa Corta. Um, if that fixes it, then we'll keep these stock uh, road, uh, what are these called, calipers. Caliper, yeah. um, if it doesn't, then we might replace these with some M50s. We'll, we'll see. All right, front wheel coming out. Here she blows, Captain. Boom. All right, we'll take those rotors off and then we'll weigh this bad boy. All right, so what are we doing here, John? You wanna explain this? So these are Loctited in, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> best way rotor. to do it is, you know, heat them up a little bit and use the correct T30. I think it's a T40 on this and then they come out. Cause you've seen people break these heads off, huh? Yeah. I have myself broken them off. Yep. So this and that is much easier than it usually comes off. Yeah. <laughs> like that. So yet another reason why you don't want to do this kind of stuff at home. It might seem like it's simple changing out a tire, but on a Ducati, nothing is simple. All right, tire coming off the front wheel, the old front wheel, and then we're going to find out what the weight savings is with the front. The moment we've all been waiting for. Is it heavy, Corey? It's pretty light. Okay, let's see. Could be wrong. Basically nine pounds. So nine, damn, that's heavier than the, heavier. the back wheel. All right, let's see. All right, so nine for that one, and this one is six and a half. So yeah, two and a half pounds, and then four pounds on the rear wheel. So six and a half pounds of weight savings. That's crazy. That brings 40 pounds of weight savings already on this bill. <laughs> Ratio just went that's insane 40 pounds off a of v2 guys that is nuts and we're still not done all right tires on this bad boy putting the rotors on torquing them down Torque it looks spec. so good right it does look really good <laughs> it looks, say that, but yeah no, if preston compliments it that's when you know look at him you like that don't you you want to take that for a spin <laughs> don't you boy you want to boy you want to get it <laughs> So the other thing Corey's doing as he uh, torques all of these down is he's marking them for a couple of different reasons. One, so that he knows that it's been torqued. Two, for whoever works on this next, they know that it's been torqued. And then if it does move at all, any of these bolts move, um, we'll be able to tell so that uh, our front wheel doesn't fall off. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. Now we get to uh, throw this back up and see how she looks. Sorry. All right, Inse inserting the wheel spacers. And then I think, Always lubing up the uh, always. They always lube always up your shafts. Your yeah, your axle <laughs> axle shafts. Look at this, guys. This is our first taste. Oh my gosh, folks! There's been a bunch of people here coming in, uh, you know, dropping off bikes for service and stuff like that, and they've all kind of come back to check it out. And every single person and in person has said it looks absolutely incredible. And uh, obviously, I agree. Might be a little bit biased because I designed it, but. <laughs> I am really happy with how it turned out. All right, so wheels are on. Just just pulled it off the uh, lift. Corey said he could definitely tell a difference with the weight. Even Preston was sitting on it, moving it around a little bit. Guys, <laughs> it looks so incredible. So unique, dude. Everyone's always telling me, stop doing black bikes, Jarrett. Stop doing carbon fiber. Well, here you go. This is completely unique, completely one-off. There's nothing like it that exists. And honestly, I'd say this is gonna be one of the lightest V2s in the world that's street legal once we're done with it and we're still not done. So just insane how this thing looks. I'm actually gonna move it around a little bit and then take some photos, but I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. All right, look at that guys. So we're setting up some lights in here, gonna take some photos, but there you go guys. Custom painted Marcassini forged magnesium wheels on a V2 2020 Panigale. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, guys. So huge shout out to Alex the painter. His info will be in the description below if you guys want any paint work done. Massive shout out to Santa Barbara Ducati down here, Corey, John, for all their help today. If you guys want to be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash camp custom is always the first link in the description below. This is gonna be a very special bike. It's supposed to be a mini build, and you know how I do it. I can't help myself. 
turned into something really, really special. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. In the next video, we'll do the uh, red rear sh uh, shock. We're gonna do the um, front windscreen, and then I'm gonna probably take it for its maiden voyage after that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more. We'll see you all in the next video.